So it's been a while since you made those New Year's resolutions, but are you sticking to them? Maybe, maybe not. And now it's time to start thinking about getting in gear for that warm weather because, believe it or not, it is coming. So that's why I'm here today with Nikki Glor. Hi, Nikki. Hi. She's a trainer and a DVD creator, and she's here to give us some tips for staying motivated. So Nikki, how do you stay motivated when you know, you've got kids running around and it just doesn't seem like you really want to get to the gym? Yeah, there's a snowstorm every other day, so I like to you know, put my fitness music on. Sometimes I even sleep in my workout clothes, so when I wake up in the morning, all I have to do is put sneakers on and put the sports bra on, and you're halfway there. And then as soon as the kids go to sleep or go to school or whatever it is that they need to do, then I just sort of put my tape in and get going. So you've got some moves to show us today, right? Yes, I like to do some multitaskers. So when you start out, you do level one. When you get better, you add a level two. When you get to level three, you can cut your workout time in half because you're working your legs, your abs, and your arms all at the same time. So an hour-long workout becomes a half an hour workout, and who doesn't want to be able to get outside and enjoy the weather when you're looking good and feeling good? Absolutely, let's check it out. So if you're just starting out, maybe use three or five pounds. I'm going to use 10 pounds. I've been doing it a little bit longer. And um, you can also just start with a level one move if you're a beginner. So level one would be feet shoulder width apart. This is a deadlift. You come to the knees and you squeeze the glutes as you stand. So we're working the booty just like my booty camp DVD. So down your knees and squeeze. To make this a little harder, balance on the left leg, bring the right leg up behind you. That means your abs have to work to hold you up. Let's add one more other move, the shoulders and the upper back. So turn the weight so your hands face each other and come down, squeeze, and lift, down, squeeze, and great. Sweating already. A little bit. Yep, so the next move will turn forward, and you can put one weight down if you'd like. So instead of standing still and doing bicep curls, you can add an outer thigh to a bicep. Lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Nice job. So let's take it down a little bit closer to the floor. So level one is a side plank. Let's start with feet together and you just hold it. That's for the abs. If you want to add some legs, bend your bottom leg. And I call this a tripod position. Lift for the glute and the outer thigh, flexing the foot. Another one we can try is um, on all fours. A level one would just be for the glute. You would lift your right foot to the ceiling and down. Your abs are working a little bit at this point already. If you want to make this harder, take the light weight behind the knee back to all fours and just lift here. Your abs are working a little bit more because you are off balance. To make it even harder, take another weight. <laughs> oh. I'll give you the heavy one. Take another weight in your left hand. So right leg, left hand. You lift the leg, lift the elbow behind you, and you have a tricep, or again, upper back by taking to the side. Whichever one you'd like. Um, so we're going to start out with another three-part move. We're gonna roll down gently. The first one is for the inner thighs. So the legs come up, turn the toes out, and like you're gonna click together, like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, <laughs> clicking the heels together. That's level one, working the inner thighs. If you'd like to add on, you can pick up the weights, and as the legs come together, the arms come together. That works the chest. Make this even harder at a level three by adding a crunch at the top. Shoulders off the mat, abs hurt, yeah. <laughs> it's a good ache. Lift, nice job. Round it down and sit up. So that's just a little sampling of things you can do for the inner, outer thighs and glutes, the booty, and then adding on the arms and the abs. Really cuts your workout time in half and you'll be happy with the results because it's kind of challenging. For any more ideas, can people check out your DVD? Where should they go? Yep, they can go to NikkiFitness.com. I have a DVD and a weekly newsletter that's free and it's on sale at Amazon.com. It's just called Booty Camp. So there you go, no excuses.